bro, I'm not gonna lie to you. This is definitely gonna be my main build. I'm either switching between this and the two weight uh, interior finisher small forward build the entire year. Like these, those two builds are gonna be the, my main builds because this build right here is is crazy. It's the best build I found so far, hands down also yes as soon as i find this build on current gen you will immediately get a video i'm trying to find on current gen for your current gen people as we speak so when i get the build ready when i find that build on current gen trust me it's going up but before i get into that do me a huge favor hit that like button subscribe if you're new and turn on post notifications it would help out the channel a lot and it would help out me a lot and i would really appreciate it now without further ado let's get into the build all right, so you're gonna make it a point guard. You're gonna come down, right hand, left hand doesn't matter. Jersey number doesn't matter. Height, you're gonna go 6'4". Weight, you're gonna go down to 185. All right, 185. Wingspan, you're gonna go seven foot, seven foot, all right? Body shape doesn't matter. I always go to fine, but it doesn't affect gameplay in any way. All right, so it doesn't matter. All right, so for attributes, listen close because some attributes are connected. And if you put one up, Another might go up if you put one down, another one might go down. So you have to pay really close attention when you're applying attributes, all right? Follow me step by step, all right? Drop and dunk, I'm just gonna go ahead and put that to a 97, all right? That'll get me immediately gold posterizer, gold slithery, and Hall of Fame limitless takeoff. But you're gonna put your driving layup up to an 86, all right? Your close shot, you're gonna put that up to an 80, and that should get you your 22 finishing badges. Don't touch standing dunk, don't touch post control, come down to mid-range shot, you're going to put that to a 70, and you're going to put that to a 70, three-point shot, you're going to put that to a 70 as well. Free throw, you're going to put that to a 47, all right, and that'll give you your 12 shooting badges. Come down to pass accuracy, you're going to put that to a 75, all right, put that to a 75. Ball handling, you're going to put that to an 89, all right, 89. And then speed with ball, you're gonna put that to an 85. And that should give you your 22 playmaking badges. Now for defense, you're gonna put your interior defense to a 59. Put it to a 59. Your perimeter defense, you're gonna put that to a 79. Your, for, your uh, steel, you're gonna put that to a 45. And your block, you're gonna put that all the way up to a 69. Now you're not gonna touch, actually you are gonna touch defensive, re offensive rebound, my fault. Put it to a 26 instead of a 25, just add one more. All right, defense rebound, you can put that to a 36. And then come down to speed, put that to a 90. Acceleration, put that to an 86. Strength, you're gonna put that all the way up to a 61. Vertical, you're gonna put that to an 85. And then you're gonna put the rest on your stamina and that should max your player out at a 99. Now, as you can see, this build is literally an overall demigod. The only, only real thing that it lacks is a little bit of defense. But to be honest with you, I'm going to have a big or, you know, I'm locked down when I'm using this build. This is for when I have a big or a lockdown, not when I'm the main, you know, saying defender. So, yes, it's going to lack in defense a little bit, but I'm going to be in, in all honesty. Just look at it. There's, there's no way you can go wrong with this build in any way unless you're going against somebody that unless you're going against Diesel or or G-Man I don't want to hear it. There, this build is, is 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 fire bro. It's fire for my problem ever takeover I'm gonna go with finishing move secondary takeover. You can go with whatever you want You can either go with the uh, extreme clamps to buff your defense or you can go with uh, ankle breaking shots I know a lot of people like that uh, pull up precision it gives you a lot of uh it gives you a boost to your jump shots it's, it's up to you in all honesty me i'm gonna go with extreme clamps to get that extra help on defense and to be honest with you i just like i, I like extreme clamps over every other takeover when it comes to secondary takeover and as you can see i finally finally got the name right after so long so many builds of slasher just slasher i found it I found it. Yeah, I found it. Now for finishing badges, listen here, listen, listen. When I tell you you're about to get tier, all tier three badges, you're about to get all tier three badges. All right, listen. All right, you can either do this. You can either put bronze giant slayer and bronze master. Or you can do silver giant slayer and silver master. It's really up to you. Or if you want to go area wizard, it's really up to you. But I either recommend giant slayer or master. I'm probably going to go giant slayer. I don't know if this badge still does that thing where it gives you more layups than dunks. I hope it doesn't. But considering this year, you can control whether you go for a flashy dunk. I'm going to put it on giant slayer because I know how to do the contact dunks immediately every single time. So I'm gonna just put it on a giant slayer. Fearless finisher, I'm gonna put that on silver 
Acrobat. I'll put that on silver as well, and that should unlock your tier three. You're gonna go ahead and core your posterizer, right? Come to Limitless Takeoff, put it on gold, and then for the rest of your badge points, you're gonna put them on Slithery, and that way you should get all tier three badges unlocked on this build. Now for my shooting badges, I'm gonna go with Silver Claymore, um, Silver Guard Up, Bronze Volume Shooter, uh, Bronze Green Machine, and then Silver Amped, and that should take care of my shooting badges. Now for playmaking badges, I'm gonna immediately come down to Quick First Step, and as you can see, I get it on a Hall of Fame. Put that on, put Hyperdrive on gold, and boom, my tier three section is immediately unlocked. Come down to Clamp Breaker, put that on gold, and core it so I don't have to spend any badge points on it. Come down to handles for days, put that on silver, right? Come over to killer combos and put that on bronze and that will take care of my playmaking badges. As you can see, I do get three out of the four, all right, tier three badges with this build in the playmaking section. All right, so that's three tier threes and finishing and three tier t threes and playmaking, all right? Now for defense badges, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how this is gonna work on current gen because the badge count system is a little bit different, but on next gen, there is a quest that gives you four extra badge points. It's called Welcome to the NBA. If you already spend those points, then you're probably gonna have to wait till rebirth to get those extra points on this build. But if you haven't already, there's a quest called Welcome to the NBA. It gives you four extra badge points and those would probably be best used on this build. If you've already used them, don't worry. Rebirth, I'm pretty sure you still get the four extra badge points once you make the build. I'm, I'm almost certain. If not, I apologize. You, you can roast me in the comment section. All right, you got it. But for the badge points, I'm gonna put one on anchor for, I'm gonna put that on bronze. Chase down artist, you could put that on bronze as well. Come down to menace, put that on gold. Pig Dodger, put that on bronze, and that should unlock your tier three section. Now you will have one badge left, and then once you add the plus four, you will have five, which should give you the ability to unlock one of these. And honestly, I think you'll be able to core one and then unlock one, and that'll be honestly perfect. You'll get both of them, but that's only if you have that plus four point, uh, badge point boost, all right? But if not, then really you have to come back up and put maybe like chase down or just on uh silver or something but that's the bill like i said if you did enjoy please hit the like button subscribe if you know and turn on post notifications i will be trying to find this build on current gen or something close to it and once i find it i will immediately upload it but yeah man i'm out